Hi, Mike Caldwell here. I'm here with my friends, the alpacas. There's uh, Lucy and J-Lo and Little J and Stormy and Snowflake and that black one's Vinny and over there is, uh, is Tiffany. Anyway, I'm here today to, to explain to you what you can expect over the next uh, few days or weeks in this nutritional video series. Now, I believe you can give a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish, and he can eat for life. Now, what that means is I want you to understand nutrition and be able to apply it instead of just having to follow a, follow some sort of diet that's out there. If you read the book that I sent you, you will see that at, in the back there's a table. And in that table, there's, a, there's red blocks, which are bad. And, um, well, and actually, absolutely every diet in there. And then there's usually a few yellow blocks as well. Now, if you think about a uh, if you think about a car and how it works, you could have a full tank of gas, an oil change, a tune-up, new battery, new spark plugs, everything everything in the engine could be running perfectly, but that car still won't work because the tires are flat. Nutrition is the same thing. If you you can fix like 90% of everything, but if that critical 10% is missing, none of that other 90% helps you at all. It's just because it doesn't work. So. If you want to uh, shed pounds and release fat, improve your skin, what are you saying? <laughs> improve your skin, become fitter, healthier, and if you want to have these results for years and not just for a few weeks or a few months, then you've got to understand the science and rationale behind nutrition. Otherwise, you're pretty much doomed to failure. So, what? Some of the components that you need to understand is calories in, calories out. You have to understand uh, how your metabolism works, how toxins affect the, the fat you're carrying and obesogens, and how those two things affect your weight. You've got to understand uh, cellular cleansing. And of course, there's the, the standard protein, carbs, and fat. You need to how, know how all those work and, and, and what uh, balances you need those. You need to know about vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, not to mention uh, how the hormones and enzymes affect how your body works. Then, of course, there's supplements and botanicals that uh, that you can use to help you with uh, controlling your your appetite. And who's spitting back there? Lucy, be nice. Lucy and Vinny don't get along all the time. So, anyway, back to the nutrition. This uh, this can sound very complicated, and and it is. <laughs> But luckily, just a little bit about me, I've got a Bachelor of Science in Biology. I've worked in the healthcare uh, industry for 15 years, worked in the emergency department for a few years, and worked on the helicopter as a paramedic for another few years. I've, uh, I've done uh, a fair bit of diabetic research, and I've been an athlete for 20 years. <laughs> that's, uh, that's stormy. I've been an athlete for 20 years, uh, so I've had to look at my nutrition for those reasons. And uh, but what's really good for you is over all that time, for the past 20 years, I've been an educator in, in one form or another. So I think what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to simplify some really complex things so that uh, both you and I can understand them. Now, I mentioned this before, but my approach to nutrition isn't a diet approach. And now, and now we've got Fred here. Fred, I'm working. Go away. <laughs> so. I believe that you can use nutrition, well I don't believe, I've done it. I believe you can take your nutrition and you can use it to enhance your entire system so that it works as efficiently as possible. So that means your uh, your lymphatic system's working, your liver's working, your kidney's working, your uh, oxygen transport system is, is working to its maximum efficiency. So everything is working perfectly. And uh, by using your nutrition to do that, it gives you some more options. Because like I mentioned also previously, I believe that uh, food is super important for nutrition, that's obvious, but food also serves a, so a social role and you also need it for enjoyment and pleasure. And I'm all about enjoyment and pleasure. So if you can get your system working well by, and this is Jazzy here, Jazzy wants me to throw a stick. So if you can get your system uh, working efficiently, then you're able to, um, then you're able to cheat every now and then okay so so you can eat the foods that you really love that you really enjoy without uh, without the guilt now and once you understand the system and once you understand your system then uh, then you'll be able to make educated decisions on whether 
that bowl of ice cream. And now I've got a cat here. It's <laughs> see. This is why this is better than me sitting in front of uh, in front of a, a desk somewhere. Anyways, so yeah. Well, what I'm going to show you how to do is maximize your uh, nutrition, increase the efficiency of your body, get everything working good so that you can eat well when it's time to eat well, but enjoy yourself when it's time to enjoy yourself. Okay? So the next uh, talk we're going to do, we're going to get right into the meat of it. We're going to talk about calories in, calories out, and uh, a lot of the different parameters that affects that situation there. Okay? So on behalf of all the alpacas and Fred and Roscoe and Jazzy, um, Good seeing you. Thanks for signing up for the newsletter, and um, I'll see you again in a couple days. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.